Hi, I am Shomi Chatterjee and I am an opinion writer at Indian Folk. My latest article is about the Jallianwala Bagh tragedy and 100 years of it without an apology from the British government. The article is titled 100 years without apology. Now what was the Jallianwala Bagh tragedy? The Jallianwala Bagh tragedy took place on 13th of April in the year 1919 where a peaceful protest was taking place in the Jallianwala Bagh of Amritsar where several innocent Punjabis and Sikhs and Indians had gathered to protest against the British government and arrest of certain leaders. When the British army got to know about it, under the instructions of General Dyer, with the help from the Sindh Regiment and the Gorkha Regiment, the General Dyer instructed open firing at the peaceful gathering of 15,000 people gathered at the Bagh. As a result of that, they stood off the main entrance of the people and shot at the people at the entrances till they were exhausted of all the ammunitions. Now, this caused in the death of about a thousand people and 500 others were wounded, while the figures represented by the British were much less. Now, what was the attitude of the Britishers towards this kind of thing? Till date and to history. In the, in, at that point of time, General Dyer was actually applauded in UK. But after much uh, criticism from the few other countries, the, actually what he faced was mild censorship. But even at his funeral, he received a full military funeral with gunshots. Now, why was this shameful for the British government? Killing so many innocents as they have accepted till date. Their president, Theresa May and David Cameron, has said that this is a scar on the British government. But what, has they, what have they actually done to make things better? They have still not issued an apology. While they have used words like sorry and uh, said that it is a scar in the British history, they have not issued an apology by showing the logic that apologizing for something which happened a century ago is not logical. When David Cameron paid a visit in the year 2013, he said that it was a shameful act and a dark day in the British history. Even Theresa May has said it was something shameful on the part of the British government, but still, again and again, they have actually failed to issue an apology. Recently, in the British Parliament, an Indian has actually moved the motion for the British government to issue an official apology for this kind of act. The Jallianwala Bagh tragedy was not a tragedy in isolation and the shameful act uh, by the uh, shameful act of oppression by the British government not only by the British government, even after we have come a long way, it is said that the British rule in India uh, began to end. The imperial uh, rule uh, began to end the day they shot at 15,000 people, 15,000 innocent people in the open. To read more about, uh, about the 100 years without apology and more about the Jallianwala Bagh tragedy, read my article on indianfolk.com. Thank you.